offer you one chance to hand over the artifact and turn away from this path. That's not any type of ship I recognize. The fact that you do not know says much. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. Ridiculous. You have no right to dictate what we can or cannot do with the artifacts. Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge, or drown in it. ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on. to discuss. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that... Is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we... What the... Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. And call themselves the Star. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Uh, another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. 
Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Or what Walter said. They were acting like a parent, worried their children are playing with something they don't understand. So, they're strong-arming us for our own good? That doesn't sound very divinely benevolent to me. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors, the gravity wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. something? I've been thinking a lot about my early days in Constellation lately. Got me pretty nostalgic and I started digging in some old things. Just sort of reminiscing. I found some of Irvin's last messages to me and thought I'd listen to them again to hear his voice. No, I apparently read at least a few of these. I just don't remember. It was a difficult time. It was surreal, honestly. So most of the messages were everyday things. Lots of excitedly written news about biodiversity and plant life. But one thing stood out. In one of his messages, he mentioned this job that he took at a mine shortly before he died. He said something terrible was happening there. The message was garbled after that. True, but this was different. I recognized this pattern from the war. A portion of the message was encrypted. Well, Vasco helped me decipher it. Turns out the message was from Irvin, and he was begging me to help him. The message was short, but his voice was pained. He was so upset. Yes. Hearing his voice in so much pain was very difficult. Oh, I wish I had noticed this message when he sent it. So in this message, Irvin said he was being framed. He said they'll do it again. He asked if Constellation could send more help. Not exactly sure, but he mentioned a court case. So I think there's a paper trail. It is, but I was thinking about it and well, it's still wrong, right? So I figured, hey, I can do some sort of a remote investigation here. See what I can find out. There's gotta be a paper trail, right? Now, I happen to have a trustworthy contact who knows a bit about law and owes me a favor. I need to pay in advance in case there are any access fees or bribes. That makes sense. Irvin was one of us after all. You know, hearing Irvin's voice again made me want to help him. <laughs> Even though I know I can't. 
Does that make any sense? No. I know I can't. I just don't want whoever heard him to get away with it. If that's what happened. I appreciate that. It's going to be hard to get some sleep tonight after all this. But the fact that I'm doing something about it might be enough to help. Hopefully poking around in old records doesn't catch the attention of Hephaestus. Well, anyway. I'll let you know if my contact finds anything. I you know now isn't the best time. I do not I want to talk involved. with you later. No, I do not think so. Ah, oh, hello. Hmm? Yes? I look forward to it. Good luck, Andresia. If the concept of luck is something that you believe in, of course. Luck will not be necessary, but thank you just the same. Spend so much time looking at the scans, I can see star systems orbiting in my head. You had a hell of a shake, getting bullied in the void. Starborn sure know how to make an entrance. Ready to head back out there? The Eye can help you find the artifacts, but I'm afraid she's blind to our new competitor. No telling the exact number, but they're getting harder to find. Got some equipment, repairs, and upgrades on the making do list. The eye's straining to her limits these days. Double check the safety and locks wherever you go, okay? Exploration's dangerous, even without some nefarious group trying to kill you. I'm all ears. I am at your service, Captain. I would not mind stopping at the Laredo storefront. I appreciate their craftsmanship. better than I would like. How to go? Good. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. Welcome to the We're rock, headquartered in the upper floors of the rock. But we also have remote stations throughout Freestar Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. These rangers there are less than a dozen rangers at all. We operate limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. 
In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, Deputy. Good luck, Deputy. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Always a satisfying moment to return All to your ship. We your ship. It looks clean. Let's set it down. Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left.
There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Well, they sure as hell look like fighting men to me. Go see for yourself. They're heading into the canyons back behind the house. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those people. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Quiet out here. I like it. Nice change of pace from Aquila City. It is unfortunate there is no safer route. We should take our time and step carefully. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I'd have looked into Deputy, looks like we're heading. Into 